Hello, and welcome to this Harrison School District 2 Infinite Campus training on seating charts. Let's find out how to get to the seating charts area first. Click on Index over here. In the Instruction tab, you have to open that up, and then you come right here to the Admin tab. You click that, and you go straight down to Seating Chart Setup. Click on that, and it'll come up. I think the default is 6 by 5, so you have five columns and you'll have six rows, but you can edit that however you want. Let's say you want seven rows and four columns. You just change it, you hit save dimensions, and now you only have the four columns, but you have the seven rows. For today, we're gonna do six by six, so six rows, six columns. I save the dimensions, and now it's updated. One of the cool features, you got this auto fill by alpha, so you click on this, and all the names just pop on in, and they're in alphabetical order for that class. You can just change your class and do this for every class. I also like the autofill random, so you just click it, and it'll just throw the students out there all random, and you just keep clicking, and it'll keep changing it up for you. Um, the, other, the last thing you can do is select where you want the students to go yourself. You just click on the drop-down menu, pick the student that you want to go in that spot, and you're good to go. Uh, there, there is a, another cool feature. If you don't do the rows and the columns, you can, um, you can do the groups. And let me show you how you can do groups in, inside your classroom. Let's go back to, let's, this time let's do 11 rows and five columns. And I'll save those dimensions. Now I got a blank list here. And what I'm gonna do is exclude seats. So I'm gonna hit this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm sectioning off so these four are isolated and these four are isolated. And now I'm gonna come down here and, and these four are gonna be isolated. I'm gonna exclude these seats. So I'm making groups of four inside my classroom. Come down here. And there we go. And now I want to hit autofill alpha. All the names are going to pop into place, but they're going to be in those groups of four, and I can do everything I just discussed earlier to set them up exactly how I like it. Another cool feature is right here you got print student pictures. This will be great for when you have substitute teachers. You just click on this. Make sure you hit save. And then after that, you hit print. And when you hit print, it pops up. And it has all the student pictures. Make sure I got this in the screen for you. You can see all the students' pictures here, and it's divided up exactly by how it's supposed to be. And you can print that out for the sub. A couple last things. We got preferences here. When you click on preferences, you can do a couple things. You can invert the seating chart, which just means that when you do the autofill, it'll start from the bottom instead of from the top. And then one more cool feature is this use seating chart for attendance. If you click this button and hit save, when you go right here to attendance, it'll actually show the student's picture and it'll show, you can mark if they're present, absent, or tardy. Uh, if we go back to your seating chart one more time, seating chart set up one more time. I'm gonna get rid of these names so I don't have to worry about blocking them out. Uh, right here on display lab chart, this actually gives you a second place to, to have a seating chart. Obviously, for science teachers, this would be a place where you know the students are in a lab versus in their rows. But teachers can use it as well for when they're in groups or when they're in rows. You just click on it, and it gives you a whole second thing here. And all you're going to do is set it up exactly like you would another chart, and you just have two seating charts for each class. And you just flip back and forth, display lab chart, display standard chart, and back and forth. That's about it. It's a really cool feature. Um, watch out for more videos.